Hi Virgo, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, psychic, seer, and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of July 2021. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you this month in these general readings. Remember, some months your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This reading is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Ascendant, and Virgo Moon. I'm using the Tara Muka Tarot deck in these readings. So all that being said, Virgo, now on to your July 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have, Virgo, is the Nine of Rods. And the Nine of Rods is uh, being prepared and ready for battle, getting your ducks in a row, getting things organized. You could be suspicious of someone or something. You may feel like there's some things going on in your life that are like counterproductive. And you're starting to understand better the schemes and the, uh, and the inner workings of other people's minds that you're having to deal with, whether it's private life or work life. You're finding yourself, you may find yourself coming up against opposition from other people around you with what you're doing or saying in July or August. And you really have to stake your claim to some things that you want to be yours. So if there's some kind of position that opens up at your job and you believe like a higher up position, you need to make it clear, stake your claim like this is the job I want. This is, you know, I deserve this position. Or, you know, if you're bidding on something, make sure you bid on it so that you win. Uh, or if it's like, you know, it could be an auction on the internet, it could be for a house, but, you know, stake your claim to something, put all your energy and force into it and make it yours comes up here. Your distractions are imminent, my guides say. You're going to be talking to this one and you're going to be talking to that one. So you're going to find there's going to be a lot of distractions coming up and it seems to be with communications f that you're having with other people. And some of you may be starting to clear out some old dead wood from a property or from your life. Or, you know, even old dead stuff uh, that's out, you, out, worn out its purpose for you, like clearing out attics, garages, uh, getting rid of boxes of old things you don't need anymore. But definitely some of you, sorry, I think this incense is making my nose itch. Um, clearing out dead wood comes up here. So if you have property that has a dead wood on it, leaves, wood, trees, you might be clearing it out. You're going to hear some fantastic ideas. This You're going to get some fantastic ideas this month. And some of them could even be coming from little children. So, you know, pay attention if you've got little kids or grandkids or you have uh, nieces or nephews that are little and something they're doing, creating or saying, you could get some good ideas or inspiration from little kids in July. And some of you, I feel, uh, some of you Virgos, I feel are going to be tackling big issues this month. Now, where are those issues lie? For some of you, it could be with your money. Some of you, it could be with your work. Some of it could be with, some of you, it could be with your social circumstances and situations or your romantic life. It'll be different for all of you. 
it's like a big month for Virgos to have to tend to things that need to be taken care of. So the card you have next is the sun, and this is returning to the joys and exuberance of childhood happiness and joy. This could be indicating a birth of a child could come in for some of you. It could also indicate love. This could be the spotlight being on you and success in the material world. I feel that some of you are going to throw yourselves into something that you're enjoying doing with it, like childlike abandon. So the thing that's the vision that's coming across my mind is some of you are going to go to some kind of lake or stream or reservoir because I see you like diving into water. I see you near like rushing water. Um, so if you go on to va on vacation or if there's places like that near you, I feel you're going to be throwing yourself into it with childlike abandon. But this could also be other things like going to amusement parks or uh, something that you want to create. Even you could be throwing your energy into it with uh, childlike abandon as well. And you may stumble across some kind of secrets that you want to put out there in some way, like in a blog or in some kind of video presentation or some stories that you want to write. You have some kind of new opportunity that opens up for you here, Virgos, between now and February of 2022. And you could catch the attention of somebody that really wants to put you on the map. So this could be like, you know, somebody, a, a boss or maybe a new position could show up and they take notice of you. And then you're uh, dealing with them or working with them, put you on the map in some way. And it's really time for Virgos to show everybody how smart they are, how wise they are. Like, don't hold back on letting people, showing your intelligence. Don't hold back on that because this is the time to really demonstrate it. Some of you are getting something that's a reflection of something a parent gave you. Let me explain that better. That wasn't worded properly. Something you're going to do or say in July or August, how you display it. And like I said, something you do say, create, display is a reflection of something that you learned or information you got or something you witnessed from one of your parents, whether you viewed them as positive or negative, you know, not everybody views their parents as positive. It doesn't matter, but there's something you're going to say, do, or create that is, that my guides are using the words, a reflection of something from your parents. So it could be something you learned from them or something they told you or some pearls of wisdom or guidance they gave you. You could uh, be very inspired in singing, music, comedy, or anything like that, or performing could be a strong theme for you in July. The next card you have here is the Two of Swords, and this is a block, a stop, or a stalemate. This could be you being protective of yourself, protecting yourself from any negative things. It could also be something is being blocked or stopped from you. You could have some kind of difficulty in making a decision or a choice about something. There could be unknowns, like secrets or things that are unknown to you. Uh, and there's emotions tied up in this situation. You may start to feel like you're unclear or not understanding uh, in some way of other people's motives. And this could be people out in the world, in the populace, in the, in, you know, uh, in the world at large, you may feel like, I don't understand people and where they're coming from or what they're thinking is, but this could be people in your own private life. 
you may feel like you've done everything that you could to help somebody and uh, in some way, and you may feel like they betray you or stab you in the back this month. Could even be a friend that you helped out and then you find out that they're saying things negatively about you behind their back and yet you went out of your way and you were really helpful to them. There's also some things that you've forgotten that would be very wise for you to study up on or go back and research them. So maybe there's something that's coming up for you that you may want to draw from something you've already learned and you've forgotten how to do it, or you need to go back and reread notes from classes you've taken, or research it on the internet, or uh, you know, go back to books or things that you are you did know how to do at one point, and now for some reason you, it would be helpful or useful to you to be able to do it now, but you've forgotten it. That's coming up here also. And you may be uh, dealing with some people that are trying to sell you on some idea. And you may not want to, you may feel like, uh-uh, I'm not subscribing to your propaganda. I'm not subscribing to your ideology. I'm not, I'm not buying into, I'm not buying what you're selling. That energy comes up here too for you, Virgos. I feel like you really not need to start listening to your spiritual guidance because for some of you Virgos, I feel like you're tuning it out or tuning it, turning it off, tuning it out or not taking the time to try to access it. And you would be wise to do so, especially this month. Wow. You got some interesting cards here. I don't know what to make of them. You got that sun card was awesome, but you got some wacky ones here in some ways. You got five of uh, rods next. And this is, this could be a uh, struggle going on inside of you. This could be a struggle with coworkers, family members, or any groups, clubs, or organizations you belong to. I feel like you may be witnessing people bickering around you and there's nothing you can do to help. You may want to, but I feel like whatever you do or say, it falls on deaf ears or you can't stop it. So this could, this is some kind of, you know, brouhaha, some kind of argument, some kind of conflict you're witnessing and you want to stop it or stick your two cents in or help mitigate the problem. But my guides are acting like nothing you do can really stop it, solve it, or help it. You could see some jealous rage flaring up in some people. And you could also see some people fighting over the most trivial, ridiculous things. And there could be somebody in this situation that you would be wise to or you may want to steer clear of because they're quite bombastic at this time. And there's communication breakdown that's happening here and there's some people flying off the handle. So Virgo, you're going to have to see how this plays out. Where is this happening for you? Because some of you could be happening at your place of employment. Some of you, it could be happening at a business you own. Some of you, it could be happening on social media, on the internet. Some of you, it could be out in the world and you're, you know, uh, witnessing something go on. Some of you, this could be uh, within your family, which is what I feel for some of you. I do feel this is family related, but uh, I feel family or job related is what comes up here the strongest to me. You know, for some of you, nobody is of their right mind because they had too much to drink. So this could be going on for some of you at a bar or at a wedding reception or some kind of party or gathering. There's loose ends in this situation. And people could even be bringing up the past. 
the, of past unresolved and hurt feelings. Uh, so this is a tense situation. I feel like, I mean, for some of you, you could be in the mix of it. But really, it feels more to me like you're trying to be the mediator or the peacemaker or trying to be the one, the voice of reason or trying to break it up. That's what most of it you feels like for most of you Virgos. That's how I feel for most of you Virgos. Sorry, Mercury's retrograde and I'm having trouble saying stuff today. <laughs> ah, sorry. So on to your next card, which is uh, the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is holding on protectively to your finances or anything of value, even your emotions. This card could also indicate financial success coming in the future. In the old days of tarot, they would have called it the miser card. You know, some of you are so starting to see that you are going to have to fix some of the problems you're encountering with money. So that could be in so many ways. Maybe there's things that need to be fixed and you have to spend money to fix them. But it could even be paying people money to shut them up. And I don't mean like a bribe, but pay off. I mean, well, it could be for some, but I mean like, you know, maybe one of your children or grandchildren uh, or sibling is having a problem or friend and the only way to shut them up or to solve the problem is to throw some money at it. <laughs> but for some of you, it could be in your own life of things that need to be fixed. Some of you are also doing some kind of changes with your banking or where you're investing. You may be changing what you're investing in. You could be changing financial advisors or uh, stock brokers. Uh, or you could be changing uh, your bank. Some of you are, go remember I said clearing out dead wood, I get that again. And I get that some of you could be gathering some things that are old and not useful to you anymore, and you may be selling them. Could be online, on the internet. Uh, it could be at like having a yard sale uh, it could, you know, there's many ways that you could sell things. So think about that, but it would be considered old dead wood because my guides brought that up again. And some of you are going to be thinking about your money, like what is the most proactive thing I can do with my money right now? Is it to invest in property, cryptocurrency, the stock market, the bond market to get, or to get out of it completely and invest in other things, other, you know, I don't know, things that you may not have normally been gravitating to before. You could have somebody that's putting a squeeze to you about money. This could be one of your kids. It could be a business partner to you. It could be, I don't know, many, many people, a spouse. But I get you holding back on it. You not really... And you could be doing it for like wanting to teach them a lesson or not feeling fully invested in their plea of what they want the money for. You may not be like, yeah, I, I'm not giving you money to do that. You don't need that or that's not a good use of this money. So I do feel for some of you, you are holding back giving money to somebody that is trying to get it from you because you're not buying into it or believing in, in it and in why, why they want it. Some of you uh, Virgos are going to be starting your own business and it's going to function properly once you get everything situated and in some kind of like systematic control, like go, I go back to this, getting your ducks in a row. Um, so if you're a Virgo starting your own business, you need to get like the systems of how your money is going to, you know, be paid out, uh, how it's coming in and how it's being paid out. And maybe even having things on the computer that can help you with that. Like maybe you need QuickBooks or you need to, 
have things that are going to go through a system of automatically being paid out or, you know, uh, hiring a company that's going to do the payroll and cut the payroll checks, like whatever it is, you, if you are starting a business or if you already have an existing business, these might be things you need to think about because it is coming up here as another one of the messages off of this card. So the best gemstone crystal that you got to work with for this month of July, 2021, you got the same crystal as your sister sign of Taurus. You got smoky quartz. Now smoky quartz is a grounding and powerful stone, especially with money. It disperses fears and depression. It brings emotional calmness. It releases, it relieves stress and anxiety. It promotes positive thoughts and actions. It brings psychic and physical protection and abundance, prosperity, and good luck. So when I say work with, use, or wear this stone, I mean putting it on your third eye chakra when you're meditating or your throat chakra or your heart chakra, wearing it in a beaded bracelet, wearing a pendant, having it next to your skin does uh, help you get the most benefit and energy of the stone or putting it under your pillow when you're sleeping is also good. Or you could use it for scrying where you read the stone and read what your spirit guides are telling you about it. It is very much so going to protect you psychically because I do feel you're going to be under some kind of like psychic and or emotionally charged attack. And that makes sense to me for your five of uh, rods card. It's going to give you good, keen insight of who and what to steer clear of. So who you need to steer clear of and what you need to steer clear of in July. It's going to bring you in more balance and equilibrium and a lot of like feel good kind of energy. So this does look like a good gemstone crystal for you for the month of July and maybe even moving forward in other months. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. Thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here, you can go to my Vimeo on-demand pages on my website at theluckymermaid.com and there you will see all the different video series I record using a variety of divination tools for very specific topics and then you just click on this sign under the video heading that you want and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. But I always post the most recent video series down below in the description box in the show more section and some of the most recent video series I've recorded is my mid-year psychic tarot update for 2021 for each sign of the zodiac. I did the center of the Celtic cross, which is six cards. That video link is below. Also, my solar eclipse in Gemini, June 10th, 2021, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. That link is also below this video, and those predictions last for six months. And I use the same format for the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, May 26th, 2021, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card Reading. You might want to check those out if you haven't done so yet, because those predictions will last for six months. And with the eclipses, they, they use, those uh, predictions and events and occurrences can go out and reverberate past those six months in some cases. You might want to get my Saturn in Aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings. 
Those predictions go out three years in time up until March of 2023. My career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings, those predictions last 12 to 18 months. And I believe those go out until November of 2022. And my what's lucky and new for you in 2021, psychic tarot and oracle card readings, those predictions go from March of 2021 until March of 2022. If you would like to help support my readings and my channel and the work I do here, you could make a donation to my channel. Uh, I have a donation link, which is connect, which is underneath all the video series I have listed below. And that link is connected to PayPal. And I want to say thank you so much to those of you who have been so kind and have generously donated to my channel. It does help a lot and it does mean a lot. So thank you so much for that. If you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram and the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook. Those predictions are usually written. They're usually four to five paragraphs long. Therefore, anyone that feels compelled to go look at it, you may say, well, how's that possible? Well, my spirit guides know who's going to go look at it. <laughs> I don't. Uh, and there may, maybe you'll read it and there'll only be one or two messages in that, those five paragraphs that resonate with you. But I do believe most people find there is something there that resonates for them. So you might want to check those out as well. I'd love to see you over on my social media pages. So I hope you have absolutely great things that happen to you and blessings that come to you in this month of July of 2021. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.